What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the four plus secret rooms here in Building 21, how to open them, and what's inside. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comments how are you guys digging the brand new update here in DMZ. Earlier this evening, I of course posted two other videos about this new map, with one of them being a guide on the weapon case quest, and that goes over the weapons armory secret room, which can give you six plus free rewards. I also made a video talking about the Velican boss fight, how to get your hands on an exclusive weapon that's also not in multiplayer. Lots of coverage here. And I got even more on the way for this brand new experience. So here's the deal. In Building 21, there are five different key cards related to this map. The first one, of course, is the Building 21 access card, which you can only get over in Almazra. Now, you can get that on Almazra by opening up orange chests, which you can find over in strongholds or random buildings, or you can get them through random supply drops, either from using SAM sites or going ahead and doing the Intel contract to spawn a Helo Commander, he'll drop one, or by waiting for the public supply drop event that'll happen towards the end of the match itself. So that's the first card. And to make things clear, you cannot find a Building 21 access card in Building 21. You can only find those cards over in Almazra. And one Building 21 key card will give you one play session in the new map, which means if you have one Building 21 access card and you play a match of the new map, but you die out, or even if you exvil, you do not get to play the map again until you get another access key card from Almazra. Kind of similar to how raid assignments work, where you have to do an assignment to actually play the raid, except unlike the raid assignment, which last one week and gives you one week access to the episode itself. This key card can only be used one single time. Now we then have the colored key cards. There's a blue one, a red one, a green one, and even a black one. Now to make things very clear, all these cards only have one use. They obviously say worn at the main menu, but so far we've seen nobody out there find the colored key card that gives you multiple uses. Maybe in a future update it'll make a lot of sense to maybe add in a multiple use building 21 access key card so that maybe you can at least play three games building 21 with that one key card, but as far as the colored ones go, they only work one single time. So you can obviously stockpile them and save them in your inventory for whenever you want to take them out, but as of right now, there are no multi-use key cards whatsoever. Now, only blue and red access key cards can be found in Almazra, though. If you've managed to stockpile these before the launch of Building 21, then congrats. You're ahead of the game and can easily regain if anything ever goes wrong for you in this new map. Blue and red cards can be scavenged through orange chests and supply drops in Almazra, similar to Building 21 access cards. Same exact method. Now, you can also find blue and red access cards in completely random loot locations here in Building 21. Let it be duffel bags, the AI that you kill can drop them, you'll find orange crates which may have them inside. So you can find blue and red cards fairly, fairly easily in Building 21. They may be a bit rare in Almazra, but they're very common here in the brand new map. Now, the location of the blue door is in the transition room, which is straight across from the data center. You'll probably be familiar with the data center if you've been grinding out those weapon cases, as I covered in my recent video, of course. This area is located on the lowest level of Building 21, and it's located near the parking lot. So I'll walk right into this room, and you'll see a plain blue door sitting there in the corner. Once you're inside, you'll see plenty of good loot from random orange chests, self-revives, uh, durable gas mask, three-play armor satchels, even better weapons with a fair amount of attachments. These rooms are very important for regain. Very similar to the secret rooms that we have over in Almazra, there are obviously dozens and dozens of keys you can get in that map that open up different areas, and in those areas, you'll usually find very similar loot to what you just saw here in the blue room, very important for those rough matches where something just goes wrong, you lose everything or you disconnect. You could hop into another match using one of those keys, or in this case, a key card, hop into one of these secret rooms and get set back up within a matter of minutes. We then have the red door. This is located on the second floor of Building 21, very close to the center of the main area where Velikin can spawn, as I also covered in a recent video. This is very close to where that promotional image is at over in the Building 21 blog post. So what you want to do is make your way over to the office floor area right here. It's also close to C2 if you take in the stairs to the second floor here of Building 21. And right over here is the red door. Open that up and boom, you'll see very similar loot to what you saw in the blue room. Just a bunch of orange crates. You'll see some self revives, some other good weapons, even a weapons locker, which could have some of these weapons that you'll at least stow in your backpack for maybe future runs of DMZ, whether it's on this map or even on Mazra. Pick everything up that you can and share it amongst your team, of course. But we now have the green access cards, which are found a little bit different from the blue and red access cards. You get these every single time you open a safe in these secure areas here of building 21. So we've opened safes that are in quite a few different locations. So in some of these rooms that you'll find, for example, this is the archives room located on B2 past the office storage. The safe won't always be here, but it can be here. So in these rooms, you'll see a bunch of AI you have to take down and you'll see a safe sitting somewhere in a corner. Open that safe, starts a bit of a lockdown similar to the safe contract or the weapon stash contract we have in regular Almazra DMZ. And once you open that safe, there will always be a 
green access card sitting right here inside. There's also the generator room located in the basement hallway or just right by it. Not far from where the blue door is either. And right over in this room, there could be a safe. Go ahead and hold square on it or interact to open it. Once the lockdown is over, you can open that safe and boom, a green access card will be located right inside. So what's unique about the green access cards is that since you're guaranteed a spawn of one every time you unlock a safe, there's actually more than one green door that you can open. The first one is on the lowest level here of Building 21 right here in the parking lot. It's a pretty dark area, so be aware of either AI that are camping with shotguns or throwing smoke. Also be aware of actual real teams, which could also spawn pretty close to this area of the parking lot as well. Unless you're just spawning right in and jumping right to the door if you have a key card already, then you're probably going into this area of the map to open the door pretty late into your game, but there could still be people lurking around. You just never know. And inside this room here, it'll be similar to the blue and red rooms with three orange chests, self-revives, armor satchels, durable gas masks, weapon lockers, whatever it is that you guys want is probably in here. So aside from that, there's even the maintenance room located just to the right of this green door. And in here, you'll see several green doors that you can open. But obviously, as I said earlier in the video, you can only open one door per key card, which means you can't use the same green key card that you just used to open up that door that we showed a couple of seconds ago. You have to have separate green key cards to open up all of these other green doors that are in this room. And I think if they scaled it better to where maybe the blue and red doors gave you access to super good loot, and then because there's more green doors, maybe these green rooms could give you somewhat decent loot, but not as good of loot. Maybe that would make more sense. But I mean, hey, you have a lot of options where, where you can go with the green access cards. So take advantage of that. If you guys need to regain, if you guys are in need of some more self revives or better armor satchels, these are right here in front of you waiting to be open. But we then have the black access card, which I also talked about in my Velikin video a couple of hours ago. Every time you kill Velikin, he'll drop one guaranteed every single time. And you can use that key card in the same match, but preferably I'd say stow it and save it for a future match where you need to regain because I'll show you where the black door is in a second, but there's another way you can get a black access card, which you probably didn't know about, and that's through our six-wheeled friend, aka Wilson. Let me make this clear, though. He's not your friend here in Building 21. He's actually scarier than Velikin. He can do a lot of damage to you in a matter of seconds, the flip of a switch. It's that scary. So if you guys see a Wilson, make sure you guys strategically shoot at him. I mean, the DDoS field upgrade doesn't work against them, unfortunately. Maybe they'll fix that in the future, but if you guys all take turns shooting at him and maybe separating a little bit so he gets confused and starts aiming at each one of you every couple of seconds that could throw him off a little bit and you can kill him pretty quickly but he's tanky be aware of that if you find anti-armor rounds maybe pop that on your lmg or your shotgun and that could also help you out with shooting at wilson killing him as fast as possible but almost every time we destroyed him we also got a black access card which i don't think is guaranteed every time like it is with velikin but it's still another way you can get one if you don't end up killing him and still want a black key card but going back to the lowest possible floor here in building 21 in the basement hallway you will find a black access door there's only one here on the map once you open that one it'll be very similar to the other rooms that we opened up for the blue red and green key cards you'll see some orange crates armor satchels gas masks nothing too crazy i think one of these rooms should have had a blueprint or something but we obviously already got a blueprint through the weapon case quest that i covered in a recent video but maybe they could have threw in something else that would have been interesting some other type of piece of intel or something that is in relation to the story about what's going on with shadow company the grave survive where's general shepherd maybe there still is something like that on the map we haven't found yet but as of right now that's what is in all of these secret rooms now i challenge you guys open up every single secret room in a single match spawn in with four green key cards one blue one red one black and see what happens when you open up every single room in one deployment of building 21 but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the four plus secret rooms here in our brand new dmz map what are your thoughts on the rewards inside of these rooms and also do you think they should actually buff the spawn rate of all the key cards really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody